Good morning, you guys. This is Mary with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. Just saying. Um, sorry, my hair's a mess. I just got up. Um, I'm not doing a daily key this morning on Sunday, November 21st of 2021, just to let everybody know. Not an official daily key because this is the daily key. Um, I got some channel in, so I'm going to go ahead and do it. Um, I plan on taking my kids um, somewhere we've never been today. So um, that's why I'm going to go ahead and do this um, the way I'm doing it today. So no official daily tea today, daily tea today. It will be this, just to let everybody know, um, because I got a lot of channeled in. So um, I'm just going to put them out to the universe, put them out to you guys. If you, um, if these videos, if you come across the videos and they resonate with you, um, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. Love to have you guys. Um, if you think they could resonate with anyone else, uh, please feel free to share them on your social media. All right, you guys, don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't, I'll follow it. Apply. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate. These are psychic intuitive messages, so it's very important to only take the messages that resonate and leave the rest. I just want to make that very abundantly, abundantly clear. Okay, so the first channel I received was a Scorpio, a Virgo, a Leo, and, oh, there was another one. A Scorpio, a Virgo, a Leo, and a Gemini. And a Gemini is about to get stole from in a huge way, is what I heard. Um, and then I heard um, severe criminals there. So, uh, you know, if this isn't you, I hope it's not you. I hope it's not my collective, but, you know, there's millions and millions of people in the world. So I know there are some low vibrational people that watch. So uh, hopefully it's not you. Hopefully it's somebody you're connected to with that one. But you plug it in how it resonates. A Scorpio, a Virgo, a Leo, and a Gemini are severe criminals. So they either have a physical criminal history or they are just criminals and they've never actually been called in by the police or arrested or anything like that. I mean, you can be a criminal and not have a criminal history. Um, we all know this and that's the truth. So they can actually be documented criminals or they can be um, um, criminals that actually have a criminal history. Um, they've actually been called into the police and been arrested and been indicted or what have you. But Scorpio, but they do have a criminal history, whether it's documented or not documented. So whether it's street side and people know they're a criminal and they've never been caught by the police because they know people in the system or whether they've actually been caught, however that resonates. Scorpio, Virgo, Leo, and um, Gemini. They could have Scorpio, Virgo, Leo, or Gemini, and their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North, and Menhaven, or Jupiter, tar Jupiter charts. Um, you plug it in how, how that resonates. Masculine energies. Okay, I just heard masculine energies. So masculine energies. So the Scorpio, Virgo, Leo, and um, Gemini, they're masculine energies. Um, so criminal past, whether they, it's documented or not. But they're about to get stole from in a huge way. So you plug it in, how it resonates. One of the Scorpios is a feminine Scorpio. Oh, okay. So masculine energies, Scorps, Virgo, Leo, and Gemini, masculine for the most part. But, you know, there could be 500 Scorpios in here, 100 Leos, 50 Geminis for all I know. Um, you have to plug in your life how it fits. But one of these Scorpios is a femme Scorpio, apparently. At least one of them is. So mostly masculine, and then I'm feeling, uh, I mean, masculine, masculine across the board, and then one, at least one femme Scorpio. You have to plug in your life out fits. Um, a lot of theft here, a lot of theft, a lot of theft. So you plug it in, how it resonates. I think I'm going to get some tea leaf. Well, no, I'm going to get some moon cycle. I 
an older Libra is about to start getting very, very ill. And an older Aquarius. Very, 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 very ill. Probable hospitalization very soon. Extremely ill. Because they were connected to these dirty criminals. Oh my God. Woo. Oh my God. You plug it in how it resonates. Oh my God. An older Libra and an older Aquarius, I heard. So older Libra and older Aquarius. Um, and an older Tauran. A lot of older energies in here. Older Libra, older Aquarius, older Tauran is what I heard. So that older in the Tarot is deemed as like 40 and above S. Younger is deemed as like 35 or below S. Then we have the 35 to 40 gray area. So 40 and above S energy, um, S. You know, if they're 37, it might resonate. If they're 39, it might resonate. But technically 40 or above S energy for older in the Tarot. I heard Tauran, Aquarius, and Libra. They could have Taurus, Aquarius, or Libra. And their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North, Node, Benhaven, or Jupiter charts. And Leo. And Leo. Oh, my goodness. Heavy Leo energy in here. So, Aquarius, older. These are older, pe older people or older-esque people. Um, Aquarius, Libra, Taurus, and Leo. Aquarius, Libra, Taurus, and Leo. Older-esque energies. I'm thinking 40 or above is what I'm thinking, but you plug it in however that resonates, if that resonates for you. They could have Aquarius, Taurus, Libra, or Leo, and their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North, Node, Manhattan, or Jupiter charts. I heard they're about to start getting ex extremely, ex I heard like three, three S extremely in there, extremely, extremely ill because they are connected to these people, these people over here. So you plug it in, how that resonates. These people are about to get stole from in a huge way. These could be younger energies, middle age energies, ma um, older energies, mostly masculine and one specific feminine Forbes, I heard, but mostly masculine. These could be younger or older. But these people, there's more people. These people were connected to the people with the criminal history, whether it's documented or not documented. And they're about to start getting extremely ill, I heard. Extremely, extremely, like, a lot. Very, very, very ill. Um, probable hospitalization, it might be ICU energy, possibly, for some of these people. Because they will be so ill. So, it's not, like, just, like, um, a cold. It's not, like, um, it's not something that, um, you know, you go in there, you get treated for, you get out. You go in there, you have a, you know, a minor uh, issue and then you're out in a couple days I feel it like probable ICU energy um, for some of these people and I'm serious about that some of these people will definitely end up in the hospital if they make it there oh my lord oh my god this is so serious oh my god I feel I've got to get one of these. Heard that some of these people will definitely end up in the hospital if they make it there. Um, but it sounds like it's some kind of negative karma is what it sounds like because I heard because they're getting ill because they were connected to these people. So maybe these people gave them something. Either they gave them some kind of disease or illness or something. Um, or it was communicable where it was in the air and they got it from them. Or something happened where these people are downing their mental illness in some shape form or fashion for some it can be mental health wise and uh because i heard these people are criminals um so maybe they were manipulating and using them and abusing them so bad that um it downed their mental health and maybe that for some because for some it can be medical for some it can be mental health for some it can be both but it's some kind of extreme illness to where um lord have mercy that's terrible that's terrible. That's terrible. But that's what happens when you get around narcissists and manipulators. For any, um, just a little side note here. This and that's to be these messages, channel messages are a good example of this. This is what happens when you get around narcissists, um, 
your mental health goes down, your money goes down, your life goes down, your career goes down, everything positive in your life goes down. And that's what ha I feel is happening to these older people. They have got around some very, very greedy, selfish, narcissistic energies. And now it has taken toll either on their energy, their mental health, or their medical. And it is about to, um, it's about to be shown like in the 3D because they're around such crazy people. Um, that's what I'm feeling. That is terrible. hope everybody is doing okay today. A particular Aquarius is about to get a huge wake-up call. Spirit messages to you. Younger and older Aquarius. Okay, I heard a particular Aquarius is um, getting a huge, well, there's more than one Aquarius. Um, a particular Aquarius is getting a huge wake-up call, younger and older Aquarius. So there's at least two Aquariuses um, in the universe um, here. Um, they're getting a huge wake-up call, some younger, some older Aquariuses. Okay, I just heard no kipper. No kipper. Okay, so we want you kipper. Okay. Because I already had ideas for what the cards might be, but I just heard no um no kipper. Okay, we'll do moon cycle. Okay, so yeah, so um you plug it in how it resonates. These four these are older people, like older S people. So I'm thinking 40 or above. Um that's really, really sad. Um I heard hospitalizations probably coming for some of these people if they make it there so i don't i don't know if some of these people are going to pass away or not i i don't i didn't specifically hear that you know if i hear that i'll let you guys know but i didn't specifically hear that but it's really sad Share messages you have like this A Libra masculine is about to impregnate someone they never wanted to impregnate. Oh my goodness. This must be people y'all are connected to is what I'm assuming. This must be people y'all are connected to. Um, because wow. Uh, <laughs> man. These are strong this morning. A Libra masculine is about to impregnate someone they never wanted to impregnate. Um, so I, you know, I don't know if this is like some initiation, um, you know, and they're initiating into the group or the cult or the gang or the black magic coven or what have you. And this person ends up pregnant or it's a one night stand or it's a, um, just somebody they've been dating a while and they don't, they didn't want to impregnate them. But, you know, there is birth control out there. So I don't know why, um why they um didn't um discuss this with the sexual partner and discuss birth control before they started knocking the boots with somebody um because that's the logical sane adult thing to do before you start having sex with somebody and i'm not saying i'm perfect i've had sex with people before of course it's been over two years since i've had sex but back in my younger days and back in the day i i mean i I did have sex with people and uh, we did not discuss birth control. Some we did, some we didn't. Um, but if you don't want to risk the chance of pregnancy, that's what you do is you discuss birth control. Um, so that's why I'm saying that. So you plug it in, how that resonates, if that resonates for you. It's a Libra masculine. It don't have to be you. It could be somebody you're connected to. But I heard they're about to impregnate. Um, somebody's about to end up pregnant, basically. They're about to end up impregnating somebody. They did not want to impregnate. 
Um, so you plug it in, how that resonates, if that resonates for you. Dear God Almighty. Thirty-seven, six, twenty, or twelve could be very significant numbers in your life. Thirty-six, thirty-seven, six, twenty, or twelve. Those could be significant ages of you or somebody you're connected to. It could be possible lottery numbers, possible jersey number, possible social security number, possible green card number, possible date of birth number. Any significant numbers in any shape, form, or fashion that are significant to you in any um, way. These also could be. Um, Reoccurrent, num reoccurrent numbers you're seeing on advertisements or billboards. 37, 6, 20, or 12. I'm going to look up angel number 666. I feel that might be very significant for someone in here, too. Well, we have 15 minutes. Go ahead. A particular water sign is finding it very, very hard to move on emotionally from someone of their past. It is someone they have never been with, ever, in a relationship. Okay, I heard a particular water sign is finding it very, very hard um, to move on from someone of their past. Um, they, uh, they have never been with this person. It's hard to move on emotionally. So they're emotionally connected to this person or they wanted to be with this person and maybe they didn't open their throat chakra and communicate effectively with this person or life got in the way or they moved or they moved or what have you. But um, they, it sounds like they want to be with this person, but they don't know how to express how to be with this person or they don't want to tell secrets of the past to be with this person, however that resonates. But it can be a masculine or a femme water sign. They could have Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio in their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Ortho, and Halo, Jupiter. They're finding it very hard to emotionally move on from this person. So I think they want to romantically be with this person, but they don't want to reveal secrets. They don't want to give, copacetically give, I feel for some of them. I feel for some it's they don't want to reveal super secrets of the past. They know they would have to with this person. And for some... They, um, just life got in the way. Life got in the way and I feel they might be with a karmic and it kind of hurts them inside because they know what they're, they're with the karmic and they're not with the person they're meant to be with. Like twin flame as energy possibly. Um, but you plug it in, how that resonates, if that resonates for you. Angel number 666 is a clear sign of money and wealth. Money and wealth, 666. Now, you know, some people look at 666 as the number of the devil. and um, But in this sense, with angel numbers, it's definitely not that. It's actually opposite. So I feel money and wealth might be coming to some of you guys, is what I'm feeling. And congrats to that, uh, to you guys. Now, I feel, for whoever I'm speaking to here, I feel the channeled messages I'm getting in today are people connected to you. Um, I just want to make that clear. I feel the channel messages I'm getting in earlier with all these people, that's people connected to you. Now, I feel. Now, for some, it could actually be you. Um, but I feel it might be somebody you're connected to because there's a reason we're getting them. Um, and I don't feel it's you because of the energy down here. Self-love, beauty, boundaries. Um, it hasn't come into fruition yet, but it's about to. Um that's the, that's that's the energy of you guys down here. So something has to come into fruition. For some, it could be that toxic relationship with that water sign. I mean, there's a reason. You know, that water sign, I just want to say, I really don't feel sorry for that water sign because, with that channel message, because whoever that is to you in your life. Because they had every opportunity to tell you. They had every, I mean, I'm sure... Many, 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 many opportunities have made very bad choices, and they know this. Okay, I heard many, 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 many opportunities. They made bad choices, and they know this. Okay, so there, that's confirmation. So, yeah, they have had many, many, many chances in the universe to tell you something, um, and they have chose not to. 
So if they cannot open their throat chakra and communicate effectively with you, then why, why would you even give them the chance today? That makes zero sense. How can you build and grow a life with somebody if um, they can't even open up their freaking throat chakra and communicate with you? That makes no sense. So, um, you know, they're up in their fields because they know they've made bad choices, but that their bad choices is not your bad choices. So, um, you know, as my, I don't really feel for, sorry for the water sign. I really don't. Uh, you have to plug that water sign in your life how they fit. But this is your energy down here. A particular Aquarius that you have recently ran into is about to pay it forward to you in a huge, huge, huge way. Huge way. They know the real, real, real truth. With the time, little time they spent with you. For some, your family. Okay, so you plug it in, how that resonates for you. If that resonates, Aquarian energy strong in here. So there's an Aquarius that you have recently spent some time with. I heard little time they did spend with you. So I don't feel it was a lot of time. Uh, for some, it could have been 30 minutes, some an hour, some a few hours. But I don't feel it was a lot of time. Um, I'm loving the hair. That's good. Um, but yeah, so... Um, that's what I'm feeling. Maybe 30 minutes, maybe an hour, maybe a few hours for some of you guys. But Aquarian energy. They could have Aquarius in their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Ortho, Mid, Haver, Jupiter charts. But they have recently spent time with you. Some with you. So some singular singular you. Some family you. Uh, you with children. Your children, I'm presuming. Um, and are they just as little time they've spent with you or you and your children, they know the real truth. They know the real truth. Um, and they're about to pay it, pay it forward to you in a huge way. So they really know the real truth. I think they were lied to on person, people, um, they were lied to by somebody, by, by somebody, but they are using their own brain, their own head. And they know, uh, they see the truth, the truth, the facts, maybe it was body language. Maybe it was something that was said. Maybe it was physical proof, like, um, true receipts, true receipts, not fake receipts. I just want to make that clear. Not fake receipts, true receipts. Um, maybe it's a was a, I don't know, a bank statement or um, a tip or something. Something they're really, they're truly seeing. Um, and they're about to pay it forward uh, to you in a huge way. And that's wonderful. So you plug it in how it resonates. And a particular Pisces that's been making false receipts. Is about to be busted in a huge way. For the criminal they are. They have been getting away with this for a while now. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. I heard a particular Pisces that's been making false receipts and they've been making them for a while now, I heard. Um, they're about to be busted in a huge way for the criminal they are. So they've been making false receipts. I feel for some, you know, we've had a lot of stolen home energy in here. So I think for some, they've been making false receipts saying that they've been renting your home. That's my deductive reason and logic in this with the energy I've been pulling in here. But it, if it's not, it's something else. But they're making false receipts for something is what I'm saying uh, for some reason. Um, but it's not good. And they're lying. Obviously, they're lying. And so much so they're going to great is links to make false receipts. Um, so, um, I heard they're about to be busted for the criminal they are, and they should be. I feel for some, it's, um, false rent receipts. That's exactly what I feel. That's exactly what I feel. Um, that's exactly what I feel for some of you guys. Yep. I do, I do, I do. For some, it could be something else. For some, it could be some other kind of false receipts. For some, it could be, um, them making false receipts to set you up, uh, in some shape, form, or fashion. Like, saying you're a prostitute. And getting people, other people to make false receipts saying that, you know, who the hell, I don't know of any, I've never known any prostitute in the real world. Um, to, I've never been a prostitute, but I used to live next to a door to a home 
when me and my um, ex-husband, we were dating, when I, because I had the apartment and he lived with me for months, for months and months and months before he got married. But I had the apartment and he paid me half of the rent. Um, and he would, uh, when me and him lived in the apartment together, a little one bedroom in Huntsville here, many, 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 many moons ago. But when we did, there, somebody was running a prostitution ring out of the other apartment directly connected to us on the bottom. Um, I've never seen any of those crazy people um, give receipts back and forth. You would just see the trick turner sitting outside at a specific time every day. Then you would see the man drive up. Sometimes it'd be a woman driving up and then they go in the apartment. You'd hear funny noises for about 30 minutes to an hour and then they leave. And then you see next time, next appointment, you'd see a different trick and a different man or woman. And that's how the process went. So I never saw any, and trust me, I watched them because I was curious. I, I mean, not that I never reported any of that crap because I don't know who the hell was running the prostitution ring next to me, um, who was really renting that apartment. I'm sure it wasn't the tricks doing it. So, um, but um, I never saw any um, handing over a receipts from the trick to the um, client is what I'm trying to say. So I don't know, <laughs> it might possibly be prostitution, but I'm feeling for a lot of you guys, it is um, fake homes. Um, Cause a lot of, some of you guys have homes out there you have no idea even exist. So I think it's that is what I'm trying to say, but you plug it in how that resonates, if that resonates for you. And a Pisces is about to severely betray a Gemini in a huge, huge, huge way. Some sex, some reporting energy. Some money. Okay, heavy Pisces and Gemini energy in here. Okay, and a Pisces is about to portray a Gemini in a huge way. Some of these Pisces are going to portray the Gemini by sex, some money, some, um, uh, what was the other one? Uh, information, reporting of some kind of information. So you plug that in, how that resonates. And the reporting of the information is going to create many, 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 many series of chain of events very negatively for this Gemini. Okay. And I heard the reporting of the information. So this Pisces reporting this important information of this Gemini is going to create a ton of mini series of chain of events negatively for the Gemini. Um, they have Gemini and their sun, moon, rising, Venus, ortho, mid, hammer, or Jupiter. You plug in and how it resonates, but um, a Pisces about to portray a Gemini. Um, but the Pisces that's about to portray the Gemini with the information, it sounds like that's a good betrayal. Um, that's a good betrayal. Of course, the Pisces, you know, Pisces and Gemini have to plug yourself in how they resonate, or maybe you just know these people, however that plugs in. But um, the betrayal of the information sounds like it's a good thing um, in that one particular situation, but you plug it in how that fits. But some of these Pisces are about to betray with sex, some with um, the information, and some, um, oh crap, that was another way. You have to go back and check it. But um, you plug it in how it resonates, Pisces, Gemini, energy. Okay, fruition reversed. Some are about, finally about to be single soon. And they're really going to live their best life. Okay, I heard some of you guys are finally about to be single soon and you're really going to live your best life. So fruition reverse in this instance, I take it as um, no partner, no growing a relationship. Because fruition upright is growing of a relationship in some shape, form, or fashion. It could be growing of a professional relationship, a personal relationship, um, uh, connection like a child parent connection or um, 
a child community connection or some some kind of growing of connection, but it's reversed. So no fruition in the situation. Um, in this situation, it's a personal connection situation. So no growing of the situation. And absolutely, yeah, no, no. Self love. So sing, I feel single is a Pringle energy, or you were separated. But you're going to be happy that you're not growing this um, connection. If this resonates with you, you're, I feel you're going to be happy. You're going to be happy. You're not going to, uh, you don't want to grow any connections, emotional, um, emotional, romantically lovey-dovey connections, because you're focusing on yourself, self-love upright. Really focusing on loving yourself. Okay, I heard really focusing on loving yourself. So you're really focusing on loving yourself. And absolutely, yes. You can't love others if you can't love yourself first. And that's just the truth. That's the truth. Beauty. Some focusing on treatments and self-love. Some focusing on treatments and self-love. So Beauty Upright focusing on um, some kind of treatment energy. That could be, you know, facials. That could be skin care. That could be um, Botox. That could be um, what have you. Some kind of treatments, beauty, skin care regimen. Um, Maybe it's working out. Um, maybe it's eating healthier. You plug it in how it resonates, but focusing on um, loving you, basically. Boundaries. Have really, really put up your boundaries in a huge way. And it's going to benefit in a huge way. Okay, I heard you've really, really put up your boundaries in a huge way and it's going to benefit in a huge way. So you've really put up your boundaries in a huge way. It's going to benefit you. You taking care of yourself. For some, I feel it could be meditation. It could be taking care of your mental health, your physical health, your um, spiritual health, your emotional health, um, your sexual health. But really um, taking care of you. Putting up boundaries. Um, for some, I feel you could um, you could have been victims in the past, like abuse victims for some. Um, but you plug it in how that resonates, if that resonates for you. Let me see if I hear anything else. An older Sagittarius is about to find out some heartbreaking news. Some their own medical condition, some someone else's medical condition. Some mental health. Okay. You plug it in how it resonates. A lot of older people in here, older energies. We had these four and then we have an older Sag. And I don't think Sag was included in that. So you plug it in how it resonates. An older Sagittarius, um, I'm presuming 40 and above, you have to plug this Sag in how, how they fit. It could be an older Sag you're connected to or some somebody you're connected to. Or you could be the older Sag. Um, I feel for a lot of you guys, it's somebody you know or you're connected to. But um Older Sagittarius energy, masculine or femme, they're about to find out some very heartbreaking news. Some um, 
medical, some mental health, um, some them, some somebody they're connected to. So you plug it in, how that resonates, if that resonates for you. Now, obviously, whoever the Sag is, I heard the heartbreaking news. So it's somebody they um, they truly do care about. It's not somebody they're being spiteful or malicious to, or they've tried to set up, or they tried, um, you know, to harm in any kind of shape, form, or fashion. It's somebody they truly do care about. Um, it's either themselves or somebody closely connected to them. So it's not somebody they went off, and I'm not saying the Sag did, I'm just using an example. It's not somebody they went off and tried to harm in the past or set up in the past or um, or something of that nature is what I'm trying to say. Um, I strongly feel they're 40 or above. You plug it in, how it resonates. All right, you guys, let me see if I hear anything else. Judy B. Judy and B. Or Judy B. However that resonates. I heard Judy and B. So to me, that could be Judy or Judy B or B. Um, like the initial B. However that resonates. I heard Judy and then B. So I feel that could go like a name like Judy B possibly. Or Judy or the initial B. How, however that resonates. Linda, Paul, Linda and Hall, so Linda and Hall, so I don't know if that's Linda Hall or Linda and Hall, how, you know, you plug it in how it resonates, that could be a first name, middle name, last name, nickname, initial, a street name, a specific place maybe linda hall is a bar for all we know i mean i don't know so you plug it in how it resonates it could be a first name middle name last name nickname um your name somebody you're connected to's name a street name uh um a business or establishment you plug it in how how it resonates i would love to know if it does resonate you guys tammy wendy Johnston, Tammy, Wendy, and Johnston is what I heard. Tammy, Wendy, and Johnston. Johnston. Um, my maiden name is Johnston, so I know that name very well. J-O-H-N-S-T-O-N. Tammy, Wendy, and Johnston. So you plug it in how it resonates. Teresa. C. Smith. Teresa C. and Smith. So we have a mixture of initials and um, names in here um, or establishments or what have you. Teresa C. and Smith. So Teresa C. like the initial C and Smith. Um, that could be your name, somebody you're connected to's name, first name, middle name, last name, initial. Um, Street name, what have you, Teresa C. and Smith. J. B. Violet. J. B. and Violet. Violet. So, like the color Violet. J. B. and Violet. So initial J, initial B, and violet, like the color violet, B-I-O-L-E-T, is what I'm taking from that, J, B, and violet. Same goes with those. Um, you have to plug those in your life, however they resonate, if they do resonate for you. Wow. Someone's cryptocurrency account is about to be drained. Someone's cryptocurrency account is about to be drained. Criminal. Criminal. Okay. You, wow. We're going. 
40 minutes. Someone's cryptocurrency account is about to be drained. I heard criminal. So I don't, to me, that can go ways, two ways. I think a criminal is either about to drain this person's cryptocurrency account or the person that had the cryptocurrency account was a criminal and it's about to be drained. Or it could go both ways. However that resonates, um, this could be your cryptocurrency account or somebody connected to your crypto, cryptocurrency account. Now, anybody doesn't know, cryptocurrency account is like Bitcoin. If, for example, it's like Bitcoin. It's some, it's something, it's not physical money. It's like, it's like Bitcoin. If you don't know what Bitcoin is, um, I would suggest Googling it. Um, but yeah, cryptocurrency is Bitcoin. So if anybody doesn't know. So I feel, yes, either the person that has the current cryptocurrency account, they're either a criminal or a criminal is about to drain their cryptocurrency account or both. And that could have been the theft energy at the beginning too with these criminal people that were spirit stated they were strict they were straight up criminals that might be how they're getting stole from so badly uh, possibly i heard they had a huge uh, criminal history a straight up criminal history some i don't feel it's documented criminal history just saying um that might be how they're getting stole from um maybe they have cryptocurrency accounts you plug it in how it resonates A reader is about to receive a very, 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 very large donation. Very on point all the time. The person sending this donation knows they've been on point all the time, but has been very, very, very in the dark watching their readings. They're about to step up and send this huge, large donation. Air sign energy. Okay, so you plug it in. Well, that's a good one. So you plug it in, how it resonates. Now, you could be the reader or somebody connected to the reader. However that resonates, that's a great one, though. But I heard a reader has been on point. Like, it sounds like with all their readings or most of their readings or maybe the readings just this air sign views. However this resonates. Because there's an air sign. It sounds like about to send this. Um, very, I heard very, very, very large donations. So... I mean, it's not, um, it's not no baby donation for sure, for sure. It's a big freaking donation. But in all fairness, it sounds like they definitely deserve it. Now, I think you are the air sign. If this resonates with you, I think you're the air sign about to send this donation. I do. I do. Because there's a reason I'm getting this in here in the channeling. Um, I think you're the air sign about to send the donation. But, um, or it could be somebody you're connected to. But it's an air sign about to send the donation, I'm feeling. For some, you could be the air signs getting the donation sent to you. But according to the message, it sounded like the air sign was going to send the donation. Because I heard sending very, very large donation air sign. Well, it could go both ways. You could be the air sign getting the large donation sent to you. Or you could be the air sign sending the large donation. You plug it in how it resonates. Energy is coming reverse. So you plug it in how it fits. But however it fits, um, I heard this reader has been on point, on point, on point. So I'm thinking with all the... Readings, this air sign has been viewing, if it is an air sign, about to send the large donation. Um, it may not, you know, it might not be every single reading they do resonates with the air sign, but it sounds like the ones that air sign is viewing, if it is an air sign, they have been on point with this, with this person. Um, I heard they've been in the dark for a long time. So they're not letting the reader know they're viewing their videos. They're not letting them know they're... Um, who they are, they're they're not commenting. I'm feeling they're not commenting on their comment strand. If if this reader has comment strands open on their um, platform, some readers have comments open um, on their platform. Some do not. Um, I yeah you know, I do, but you know some don't. So um, if the comment strands are open, this person's not not commenting in the comment strand. Is what I'm saying. Um, that's what I'm feeling. Uh, I heard they've been staying in the dark a long time. So they are not letting this reader know that they have, period, been a trace, a trace of um, of their existence, basically, because they're doing that for strategic reasons. Uh, but I heard they're about to send them a huge-ass donation because they definitely deserve it. 
Um, I feel it's either an air sign that's getting this large donation sent to them or the air sign is sending it to a reaper. Um, but the but the per, the uh, person sending the large donation, um, they are definitely, um, they are, um, they have been saying strategic and sneaky and quiet for a reason for this reader. But it sounds like it's about to be no, made known with the large donation. Now, however they send the large donation, whoever this is that's about to send this large donation, I don't think they're going to do it through Super Chat. I'll tell you that. I don't think they're going to make it well known, like that well known on Super Chat. Because, um, you know, there's many ways you can donate to readers if, it, if they're on YouTube. There's other platforms and they may not be on YouTube. Um, but if they're on YouTube I don't, or any public platform, I don't feel it's going to be publicly. Like, for example, Super Chat is what I'm saying. I think it'll be privately, like through um, PayPal. Or if some of them have Cash App, through PayPal or Cash App or some other kind of private way of donating is what I'm saying. Because, uh, you know, I get many donations through my PayPal, but I never come on here and publicly say them because I know whoever's doing it through PayPal, it's different amounts every time. And um, sometimes people write comments on there, some don't, but they don't want it being, I, they don't want, the reason they're donating through PayPal is because they don't want other people the people on my platform to know how much they're donating and what they're putting on the private message. So, and I respect everybody's privacy. So that's why I don't, I just thank everybody for the donations for PayPal and I'll leave it at that. And um, that's the reason I do that. So just saying. A particular Gemini masculine is about to get, have really been rolling with some very dirty behind the scenes street people. It is about to catch up to them in a huge negative way. They're about to start getting many, 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 many negative series of chain events happening for this Gemini. Many. This Gemini has messed with the wrong people, for sure. Oh my God, whoa. 40 and above Gemini masculine. Oh my goodness, God. We were pulling Gemini energy in here real strong. We were pulling in Gemini Pisces earlier in here earlier, but now I'm pulling in a, a Gemini masculine. Uh, whoever this is, it could be somebody you're connected to or or not. However that resonates. Um, I feel for a lot of you guys, it's not you. I think it's somebody you're connected to. But you plug it in how it fits. Um, Gemini masculine, 40 or above energy. They can have Gemini and their sun, moon, rising, Venus, or Femme, and Hammer, Jupiter, if that resonates for you. Um, or somebody you're connected to. But I heard they mess with the wrong people. They're dealing apparently with a lot of street people. Um, people in the streets, um, you know, street side people, and I don't judge anybody. I don't judge anybody as long as you don't go around harming folks or causing mental or physical or um, financial harm to people. I do not, um, you know, I don't judge anybody. I don't judge anybody. I believe in bettering and growing and manifesting your life, though. I absolutely do. I do. Y'all know that. Um, but do I go around harming or people? No, I don't. You know, I'm very peaceful, me and my kids, period. Um, but whoever this is, um, this Gemini masculine has apparently got himself into some kind of rat's nest or hornet's nest or it's like some kind of street side hornet's nest is what it um, it seems like here. That's what it seems like. Because I heard they basically um, mess with the wrong people and basically a ton of negative series of chain events are about to occur very, very negatively for this Gemini. Um very, very, very negatively. They have pissed off a lot of people. It is not going to go well for them. Okay, I heard they have pissed off a lot of people. A lot of people, it's not going to go well for them. So, um, 
this Gemini masculine, uh, they have done something to somebody on the street side is what I'm trying to say. Now, whoever this person is in your life, I'm not sure, but they have pissed off some street side S type people. But it's not just one person about, it sounds like it's either a gang, a cult, a uh, black magic coven, or um, or something of that nature. It's, some, it's something like that. I mean, you have to plug it in where it fits. That's just my deductive logic and reasoning. But it seems like it's some kind of gang or cult or black magic coven or something of that nature that this um, Gemini has pissed off. Is something street side esque energy, um, but um, they are about to uh, come after this Gemini in a huge freaking way, uh, um, a huge way. Ton of I heard a ton of negative series of chain events are about to occur for them. This Gemini is about to get so overwhelmed that they truly deserve it. Very heavy negative karma from the past. Okay, I heard this Gemini is about to get very, very, very overwhelmed, but they truly deserve it. Very heavy negative karma from the past. So this Gemini has done something to person, people, place, or situation um, in the past. A Virgo has a lot to do with this. A Virgo is very heartbroken, and this Gemini knows it and doesn't care. Oh my God. So you plug in and how it resonates. Wow, I'm pulling in a story here. I'm pulling in a story. So you plug it in how it resonates. So um, Virgo masculine. Virgo masculine. Okay, so so this Gemini masculine apparently has harmed, uh, either physically harmed or emotionally harmed or mentally harmed or spiritually harmed or financially harmed this Virgo masculine in the past. The Virgo masculine sounds street side. Um, sounds like they are connected to these people that are about to help this Virgo, um, create some havoc on this Gemini masculine. But I heard the, the Gemini knows that this Virgo is heartbroken. They know they're heartbroken, but the Gemini don't care. The Gemini don't care. And that's why the Virgo is about to start raising havoc on this Gemini. Um, so you plug it in how that resonates. It sounds like it might've been over a love interest of the past. Um, or uh, like a love interest, or maybe like a family member um, of this Virgo's, maybe Virgo's family member, maybe Virgo's love interest of the past. Um, somebody connected to the heart chakra of the Virgo of the past, but the Gemini is connected to this um, person either romantically right now, or either romantically now, or in the past however that resonates and the Virgo knows it and Virgo's pissed because the Gemini don't care. So the Virgo, um, the Gemini is either romantically connected with this, um, with this, um, the Gemini is either has their person, like their person, person right now, or they had their person in the past and, um, the Virgo knows it, Virgo knows it and they know the Gemini don't care. Maybe for some, this, uh, Gemini is putting, um, either currently has their, their person, their dude or chick a -doo, um, as like their piece, side piece or main person or what have you, or they are harming the, 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 like the love of their life. They're harming them in some shape, form or fashion and the Virgo knows it. However that resonates, I, you have to plug that in how you fit, how it fits. That's what the energy I'm kind of feeling here, but you plug it in how it resonates, if that resonates for you. Um, they can have Gemini or Virgo in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, ortho, mid, and Jupiter, but the Virgo is about to start, the Virgo has street side people, um, connected to them, connected to them in some shape, form, or fashion, and, um, it sounds like they are going to all start, um, creating very negative series of changes for Gemini. Very, 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 very strange things are going to start happening to this Gemini in very strange locations soon. There's going to be nothing this Gemini can do about it. And intuitively they know it. They're going to get very frustrated. Oh my God, okay. So I heard um, the Gemini, they're very, very, Many strange things are about to start occurring to this Gemini soon. We're almost an hour in.
Many strange things are about to start occurring to this Gemini soon, and many locations, it sounds like, in the world or the universe soon. Um, strange, bad things is what it sounds like. Um, but I heard it's going to um, make this Gemini very angry, and um, but they're going to know there's nothing they can do about it. So I think for some of these Geminis, they're going to know it was this Virgo that did this, is what I'm thinking for some. Possibly, possibly. Um, you plug it in, how it resonates, if that resonates for you. Wow, this is, whew. This Virgo is not going to play around. They are very, very mad at this Gemini, and they should be. Okay, I heard this Virgo is not going to play around. Play around. Um, they're very, very mad at this Gemini, and they should be. So, um, something has happened between a Virgo and a Gemini masculine. I heard the Gemini was 40 and above. I didn't, uh, the Virgo is 40 and above as well. Okay, the Virgo is 40 and above as well. So, Gem very specific in here. So, you have to plug it in how it fits, if it fits in your life. Gemini masculine, 40 and above, 40, uh, Virgo masculine, 40 and above. Um, the Virgo is very mad at the Gemini, but I heard they have very good reason to be mad at the Gemini. And they're basically about to come at them. I don't know if it's sugar in the gas tank or slash tires or, um, or, um, freaking, um, I don't know. I heard it's going to be a, a ton of mini series of chain events. So there's going to be nothing this Gemini can do about it. And they're going to know. So the Gemini has some kind of knowledge of street activity, obviously. Um, because they're going to be nothing. They're no, I heard they're, they're going to know it's nothing they can do about it. I mean, nothing they can do about it. So, it's going to be caught off camera. It's going to be caught behind the scenes. It's going to be caught, um, you know, the camera only goes one specific way. And these people know the area to go to not make it that way. Or they're going to conveniently turn the camera. Um, that's the energy I'm feeling here. And I'm serious about that. Um, this Gemini is about to be in for it in a huge way. So you plug it in how it resonates, if that resonates for you. All right, you guys, let me see if I hear anything else. Holy crap, I'm holy. P L M. P L and M is what I just heard. P L M. P L M. So P, um, letter P, letter L, letter M. P is in um, P is in pumpkin. L is in llama bean. M is in monkey. PLM. That could be your initial, somebody you're connected to's initial, first initial, middle initial, last initial, initial of a street name, initial of a establishment or bar or place or what have you. PLM. P is in pumpkin, L is in llama bean, M is in monkey. So you plug it in how it resonates. Um, I love you guys so much. Everybody make wonderful choices and namaste. Oh, wait, hold on. A Virgo is probably going to reach out to a fire sign very soon. For some of these Virgos, it's a masculine fire sign. For some, it's a feminine fire sign. Specific Leo feminine for one Virgo. It's very, very, very pissed off. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. Oh, my God. So, um, fire sign energy heavy in this Virgo's life. For some, it could be that Virgo connected with the Gemini. For some, it could be a different Virgo. You have to plug these people in, how they resonate, if they resonate for you. Um, just saying, just saying. But however that resonates, though, I heard the Virgo um, is about to reach out to fire sign energy. Uh, heavy emphasis on fire sign energy in this Virgo's life. So, Aries, Leo, Sag, energy in this Virgo's life. They could have Aries, Leo, or Sag in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, North, and Midheaven, Jupiter. If it resonates for this Virgo... Um, but, um, oh my God, I got another freaking, sorry, y'all. Okay. But anyways, um, so they're going to reach out to, I heard some masculine, something, something fire signs for this, um, Virgo. So they have a lot of connections, a lot of fire sign connections, a lot of Aries, Leo, Sag, masculine or femme connections, just for real, for real. They're going to start reaching out. That might be the ones that are about to help them with this Gemini, possibly. Um, that's what I'm thinking, but you plug it in how it resonates. That's what I'm gathering from these messages, but you have to, everybody's life situation is different. But anyway, so, but then, so they're, they have heavy fire sign connections as Virgo does, but, um, but there's one specific Leo femme I heard they're going to reach out to soon. 
So, um, and it's been a long time. Okay, I heard it. it's been a long time. And it's been a long time. Okay, so it's been a long time since this Virgo has reached out to this Leo Femme or communicated with the Leo Femme or whatever. So, heavy fire sign energy. This Virgo is about to reach out to Aries Leo Sage. They could have Aries Leo Sage and the Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North, and Midham, and Jupiter. Um, and, huh? Do what? Oh, okay. Okay, I'm sorry. And, um, and, um, a Leo, particular Leo feminine. They could have Leo in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, ortho, moon, Hamper, Jupiter. Leo feminine energy. It's been a long time, apparently, since this Virgo has reached out to Leo Fem. Holy crap. Um, but I do strongly feel this this Virgo possibly might piggyback off this story over here with Gemini, possibly for some of you guys. If they if it doesn't, it doesn't. You have to play in your life where it fits. But I do think for at least one Virgo in the universe, it may. So you plug it in how it fits, if it, if it resonates in your life or somebody you're connected to's life. The Virgo masculine, just saying, just saying over here with these stories. Um, holy crap. I love you guys. Um, everybody made wonderful choices. I hope this helped. Love you. Namaste.